Slope is defined as your change in the vertical direction. And I could re use the Greek letter delta, this little triangle here is the Greek letter delta. It means change in. Change in the vertical direction divided by change in the horizontal direction. That is the definition of slope, or the standard definition for slope. And it's a reasonable way for measuring how steep something is. So for example, if we're looking at the xy plane here, our change in the vertical direction is going to be a change in the y variable, divided by a change in the horizontal direction is going to be a change in the x variable. And so let's see why that is a good definition for slope. Well, I could draw something with a slope of 1. A slope of 1 might look something like, let me, I could start it over here. And let me get my line tool out. So a slope of 1, as x increases by 1, y increases by 1. As x increases by 1, y increases by 1. So slope of 1 is going to look like, is going to look like this. Is going to look like, is going to look like this. Notice, as I have a change in x, however much my change in x is, so for example here, my change in x is plus 2, is positive 2, I'm going to have the same change in y. I'm my change in y is going to be plus 2. So my change in y divided by change in x is 2 divided by 2 is 1. So for this line, I have a slope. Slope is equal to 1. But what would a slope of 2 look like? Well, a slope of 2 should be steeper. And we could draw that. A slope of 2, I could start at that same point. Actually, why don't I start at the same point and we'll see. But you don't have to. Actually, let me start at a different point. So if I start over, let's say here, a slope of 2 would look like, a slope of 2 would look like, for every 1 that I increase in the x direction, I'm going to increase 2 in the y direction. So it's going to look like, it is going to look like that. This line right over here, you see it. If my change in x is 1, change in x is equal to 1, my change in y, my change in y, my change in y is 2. So change in y over change in x is going to be 2 over 1. The slope here is 2. And now hopefully you're appreciating why this definition of slope is a good one. The higher the slope, the steeper it is. The faster it increases, the faster our, we increase in the vertical direction as we increase in the horizontal direction. Now what would a negative slope be? So let's just think about what a line with a negative slope would mean. Well, a negative slope would mean that, well, we could take an example. If we have a, if we have our change in y over change in x was say, let's say it was equal to a negative 1. That means that if we have a change in x of 1, then in order to get negative 1 here, that means that our change in y would have to be equal to negative 1. So a line with a negative slope, a negative 1 slope, would look like, let me see if I can draw it, it would look like a negative 1 slope would look like would look like this notice as x increases as x increases by a certain amount so our delta x here is 1 y decreases by that same amount instead of increasing so now this is what we consider a downward sloping line so change in y is equal to negative 1 so our change in y over change in x change in y over change in x is equal to negative 1 over 1, which is equal to negative 1. So the slope of this line is negative 1. Now if you had a slope with negative 2, it would decrease even faster. So a line with a slope of negative 2, it could look something like this. Let me draw it. So as x increases by 1, y would decrease by 2. As x increases by 1, y would decrease by 2. So it would look something like, let me see if I can, it would look like, it would look like, that. Notice, as our x increases by a certain amount, our y decreases, decreases by twice as much. So this right over here has a slope, this has a slope of negative 2. So hopefully this gives you a little bit more intuition for what slope represents and how the, the number that we use to represent slope, how you can use that to visualize how steep a line is. A very high positive slope, as x increases, it's going to, y is going to increase fairly dramatically. If you have a negative slope, you're actually going to go from, you're actually going to go, as x increases, your y is actually going to decrease. And then the higher the slope, the steeper in, in the, 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 the more you increase as x increases, and the more negative the slope, the more you decrease as x increases.